let's take a look at how we can use configuration profiles to make changes to our macOS devices. From the Intune Admin Center, over to Devices, down to macOS, choose Configuration Profiles, Create Profile, and here are the profiles we can offer. We have Settings Catalog, which we just used to configure MS Office settings, or we can also use Templates. Let's take a look into Templates. We're going to scroll down and take a look at all the template names we have. You can see we have Custom, Device Features, Device Restrictions, Endpoint Protection, Extensions, PKCS, Preference, Skep, Software Updates, Trust Certificate, VPN, and Wi-Fi. For now, I'm going to go into Software Updates and choose Create. And this is the current method for deploying software updates. In the future, there will be a new feature called Declarative Device Management, which will allow us to be more specific about software update deployment. For now, we're stuck with settings from the Configuration Profile template, but they're good enough. We'll go into this and type a good name for it, so macOS Software Update Policy. Oh, Profile. We've got configuration profiles and compliance policies, so don't forget that. So software update profile, we'll choose next. And in the configuration settings, we have only four really that we can choose from. So for critical updates, we will download and install, firmware updates, download and install, config file updates, download and install, and all their updates, let's download and install them. That sounds good, doesn't it? Next, we can do the schedule type and this is where we can say whether it updates next time the device checks in, which will be really soon, or update during a scheduled time, or update out of a scheduled time. So let's take a look at scheduled time, and we get to specify the schedule for this. Same with outside of the scheduled time, we can specify when it shouldn't update. Very clever. Let's just do update at next check-in, choose next, deploy to all devices, or the group of devices that you're managing that you want to update in this way. We choose next, create, and we're done. Very simple, very quick. Always test it with a pilot set of devices first before you deploy it to all of your devices.